Thank you. Great pleasure to, to be here in Barcelona and present uh, these exciting data that we have gathered in Denmark. Uh, there are about 100,000 people that are admitted to hospital in all of Europe each year that are, have been resuscitated from cardiac arrest and half of them will die in the hospital. And what we try to do is uh, we try to improve that. And uh, so we randomized patients that were comatose after cardiac arrest. And what we wanted to uh, focus on in our study was uh, what blood pressure should the patient have in the beginning and what oxygen level should they have while they were on the ventilator. So my part here was the oxygen part. And uh, what we did was that we randomized to either give a lot of oxygen or not so much oxygen on the ventilator. And there are data that suggest that if you give a lot of oxygen, it's uh, harmful. And obviously, if you don't give enough oxygen, it's also harmful. So we wanted to, f to uh, assess uh, this in a large study. So 800 patients randomized to, to these two levels of oxygen. The study showed that there was no difference in liberal or restrictive. And that means that we don't have to give a lot of oxygen and that's good because then we can probably get the patients out of the ventilator more rapidly. So I think it's, a, even though it's a neutral study, it's a very good result we had.